Alright everybody, welcome to the test servers. We got some skins to unlock today. So, we got some steampunks. There's apparently there's some Valentine stuff, so we'll check it out. Before we do that, please subscribe to the channel with all notifications, of course. If you are a Sonic fan, number one place in the world to be for all things Sonic. I'll give you a second. And let's get into it. Alright, here we go. Oh, we just got a super chat. Hey, at least I'll be in the video. Yo, thank you so much, Christina. Christina Velasquez for the super chat. I appreciate it. Alright. So, what is in game? All right, we gotta see, we gotta see what's up. All right, so let's take a look. And wait, am I not in the testing servers? All right, sorry about that. Okay, so here we go. We have two skins. We have four skins to unlock today. Very cool. We have the steampunk skins. Chat, I don't even. What is a steampunk? Does anyone? I really don't know what that is, truthfully. Um, we also have to collect candy hearts to unlock Blaze, and we have to collect candy hearts to unlock Sonic. Candy hearts are pretty self-explanatory. Looks like they're gonna be all around the map, and it's a PNG. Um, let's check what's for sale. We have, uh, Frontier Sonic, Adventure Knuckle, no, Treasure Hunter Knuckle, sorry. I guess to celebrate the, the Knuckles show, of course, right? Aviator Tales, Gold Style Silver, Knuckles Bundle, hey. Yo, of course they're selling Knuckles skin. It has to coincide with the Knuckles show, all right? It has to. Valentine's Amy and, ooh, a new Valentine's Tornado. This is actually brand new. I purchase it, 500 Robux. I'm probably gonna end up buying that in the main servers. So let's go, let's get into the first step of the quest. Steampunk event. So what do we have? Steampunk hedgehogs. Knuckles is not a hedgehog, all right? So we have to collect 50 sky rings. All right, let's go ahead and do it. First task is 50 sky rings. So um, you know what I like to do for this quest? I go straight to New York City. Let's do it. So we are in New York City. Now this is, in my opinion, you can feel free to disagree, but um, 50 experience hoops is not difficult at all. So with that being said, look at that. Look how many that we're getting over here. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Yes. Look at that. So yeah, up here, these like these upper areas are definitely going to be where you want to be for this uh, this portion of the quest. It's very abundant and it's very it's very consecutive, very linear. It's very easy. You don't really have to think too much. You know, I, I kind of I like that idea. I like the idea of not having to use my brain too much. I like just, you know, turning it off. When I play Sonic Speed Simulator, I like to turn off my brain. So yeah, New York City, certainly the best place to farm. I'm trying to think of other places to farm that would be good. I mean, I don't think there's something as good as this. Look at that. We just got five consecutively up here, but looks like it's a little bit harder so i'm gonna get back on my tornado you know what i'm saying we're gonna have to get back on this joint because i don't feel like running around the map you know you could even for more precision hop on the tornado i mean it's not as fast though so i'm gonna go ahead and dismount i'm gonna go ahead and dismount real quick yeah so yeah you guys get the gist um let's go ahead and do 50 and then we'll pop on to the next objective by the way for those of you wondering there's a brand new feature in the game now this is very cool and the reason why is because progression i love the idea of character progression in sonic speed simulator because i feel like as a veteran player it, it feels like there's no true end game right it's like i have a six star sonic but what do i need a six star sonic for yeah it gives you some benefits but to what end um apparently this feature right here is going to be pretty important in the future but is a total collection of all of your characters levels so you see all of our levels right here um on the main service obviously this would be higher for me but just keep in mind, your team mastery is a collection of all of your character's mastery levels. So keep that in mind for the future. Not as important right now, but it could open up for some very interesting and unique progression in the future. Because something I think that the game desperately needs is um, different forms of progression for veteran players, high level players. Like, what's the end game? You know what I'm saying? You play an MMORPG. I'm a big RuneScape World of Warcraft fan. Um, you know, the end game is raiding. You know, you, you, you raid at the end game to try to get the best gear possible. Um, so if they can translate that into that type of system, that works good. Hey, Christina Velasquez with the super chat. I appreciate it, but let's move on to the next objective because we just accomplished the first one. All right. So very interesting. So I was just playing now. Keep in mind, this is a test server, but I have a full team of event chow and it looks like the bad Nick is not the event chow are not counting towards the bad Nick portion of the quest. Now, again, we're on the test servers, so this could be subject to change, but listen up. If your event chow were to work. I would 100% recommend hopping on a tornado of some sort and hanging out in Green Hill to do the Badnik quest. Not because it's faster, but because you could farm some hearts at the same time. Although, realistically, you should just be auto-running for the hearts. But if you're like an efficiency guru, you're an efficiency guy, you might want to uh, you might want to hang out in Green Hill and do this. But if we're going for speed and we're going for efficiency, one of my favorite places to get Badniks is in Emerald Hill. I, I think New York City is debatably decent for bad nicks but 
as far as speed and efficiency, I'm going straight to Emerald Hill. So yeah, for those of you wondering about the Badnik stuff, so it's broken on the test servers right now. I flagged it to the devs. So there's a possibility this might not work on the main servers. Um, in that case, I would just say go to a different world. I, I, I don't know, but it's not working right now. It wasn't counting towards the objective, but this is the best spot for Badniks, especially if you have a tornado. You pop everything down here. You go over here. There's a couple. There's a nice little cluster right um, over here, too. A huge cluster of them right here. We popped a bunch right there. Some, some down here. Now, 100%. I, I'm pretty sure it'll be fixed in the main servers. If not, I don't know. You're, you're SOL, bro. You're SOL. I mean, there's, there's other... You go to a different world or something. I don't know. Green Hills... Green Hills are high, but you might want to collect the hearts over there. But if, if, it, if it is truly working on the main servers, which I'm not sure yet. I think it is. According to the devs, Emerald Hill is your best bet. And then you come around here with your tornado, of course. Let's, let's, let's fly through this real quick. Come through your tornado. There's a bunch over here. Boom. Look, we just popped like six right there. So this is going to be the best bad next spot. Um, all right, let's move on to the next objective, though, which is, which is collect chaos orbs. Now, this currently is working for event chow. The bad nicks, as of the time I'm recording this, aren't. So everything's subject to change, but getting chaos orbs with the, um, with this requirement is pretty easy. Look at that. I already got it. I already got the requirement. If you have event chow, no problem. You're chilling. If you don't. You can do a couple of different things, and here's what they are. All right, the next objective is to complete races. So extremely simple. Obviously, with the new racing system, this streamlines this a lot. If you don't have Green Hill Race queued up, I would probably go with Hilltop Drag Race. I think you can do that one in about 15 seconds. Oh, Miguel with the 199 Super Chat. Everybody spam W for Miguel. Um, good thing we have the new racing system to to really streamline this process. So I would go ahead and queue for... I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's five races. It's not like, it's not difficult, right? But I would go ahead and queue for the Hilltop Drag Race. All right, here we go. Um, but yeah, I think, a good, oh, you get, um, you also get hearts in this one, which is nice. This could be a good way to collect hearts. I like that they're like encouraging racing because I think racing is cool. All right, uh, here we go. I'm gonna, yo, this guy's trying to beat me. No, 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 you, no, 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 no. That's, this is what we're not doing. What we're not doing is this, all right? What we're not doing is this, all right? Nah, I took the W, baby. Um, yeah. You could queue up for Green Hill Race, and the reason being is if you want more race tickets, like if you want to do the race shop stuff. What the hell? What is this? This is a fit. This guy. This this guy is a fake Sonic Cub. Hey, I, I respect it. Um, Green Hill Race is good too because you can get race tickets. It's just about as fast as Hilltop Drag Race, so it doesn't really matter in terms of completing the requirements. But if you want more race tickets, I would I would do a Green Hill Race queue if you want to do it. If you want to like kill two birds with one stone kind of thing. Here we go. Let's get let's get a race. This this is the one that I, I thrive at. I thrive at the action races. I would say I'm kind of mid at the uh, the uh, drag races or whatever you want to call them. But I think the action races I'm pretty solid at. I'm pretty pretty good oh hit that boom yeah you can do this in 16 seconds and get a lot more race tickets so I, I think this is probably your better bet in terms of like just doing multiple things at once but that's that objective and i think we have just one more to do we don't know what the task is yet but i'll let you guys know as a matter of fact i believe i unlocked steampunk knuckles how did i not even catch that diesel punk. okay he's called diesel punk whatever that means here he is guys here is diesel punk knuckles here's a better look at him anything cool about him i wonder if there is He's got a little life amulet there. What the hell is a steampunk, though? Does anyone know what that is? This guy says, show me, please. What do you want me to show you? He says, how do I hack the scoreboard? Bro, I don't know nothing, bro. Actually, you, you can watch a video. I did a Mythbuster. You can go watch that video. I'll uh, I'll link it in the end screen. But yeah, all right. Let's do another race. Let's do the next objective. And I guess we could showcase the knuckle skin for now. All right. Better look at him for those of you who are interested. Looks looks pretty decent. Cool skin. If Like I said, if someone in the comments could tell me what the hell a steampunk is, I would definitely appreciate that because I have no idea. But we're going to go ahead and, yeah, we're going to alternate between the Hilltop Race when it's available. And then if it's not, we'll be doing Green Hill Race. Well, I think Hilltop Race is always available. But if not, we will be doing the Green Hill Race to get those race tickets. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's it's like a it's a fraction. It's like two second difference maybe between these. I think this is slightly faster, but I'm not quite certain. Let's see. Yeah. Actually, as a matter of fact, I beat Gr uh, Green Hill faster. So, well, I'm pretty good at the game, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, listen, it, it really, it's, it really depends on what you, what, what your, uh, what your preference is. But it looks like to me, Green Hill might be faster. But yeah, we're moving on. All right, let's see. If you, for those of you who want a better look at the skin, hold on. Let me just, let me give you guys a quick little. Yeah, there he is. There he is in action. All right, we have completed the races. Let's go back to Green Hill. We have one final objective, and it's very simple. 
Total airtime, 180. Very easy. Thank goodness. This is an easy event. I like that. All right. So for those of you wondering for, um, for airtime, look at that. I think right here we can just park our character. Let's park our character. Look, controller's not even in my hands. No controller in my hands, all right? Well, it, it's all right, it's in my hands, but look, I'm not holding the controller and I'm still able to do this. Now, what happens if we jump down? All that airtime seems to accumulate. All right, so that's 19 seconds right there. So if you want to complete the airtime requirement, make sure you line yourself up perfectly, of course. You know, make sure you line yourself up correctly. And I believe that's it. I think that's 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 the event so we're gonna go ahead and unlock the new steampunk sonic and we're gonna go unlock the other skins too it's not over yet i want to showcase the other two skins so and you'll see that my mastery my team mastery is going up and the reason why is because each skin is a one star so every time you unlock a new skin you increase your team mastery now remember apparently this might be important in the future so let's see how he looks it looks like he has the traditional baseline sonic animations Yo, low-key, he's giving Sonic Boom with this little ankle tape right here. I don't know. Is that me or am I, am I tripping? Here is Steve. Yo, get that. Yo! Hey, buddy. Get it. All right, anyways. Yeah, let's see. His, 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 the drip on his shoes, definitely drippy. Um, certainly a cool-looking skin. Certainly cool-looking. Again, if you guys know what Steampunk is, let me know because I have no idea. Sonic Club, I subbed. Hey, you're in the way, buddy. But thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go. Boom. All right, let's see. Uh... Let's see how he looks. Let's see how he runs. Let's see how he looks in transit. See how he looks. He looks. He looks good. It's like a good skin. There he is, jumping. And yeah, man, that is Steampunk Sonic. Now we have to. Oh, I got the Steampunk hoverboard. Ooh, this actually looks pretty cool. The new hoverboard is definitely drippy as hell. I'm not gonna lie, this is like really cool. What type of? Uh, I wonder what type of character class that is. Let's see. Let's check our mounts real quick. That is a. Two hours later. Legendary hoverboard. Okay, cool. All right, let's let's showcase the other skins. All right, now that we've unlocked this guy, I guess the next portion of the quest would be the collecting the parts. So, I mean, again, this is how I'm gonna unlock the skin. I will park my I will park myself right onto Auto Run in Green Hill Zone. So that's what I'm gonna be doing to do the Valentine's quest. But if you're actively playing, of course you could run around the world. But there is also something I'd like to point out. Again, as you guys noticed before, drag race and hilltop, you do get quite a bit. So if you can quickly queue races and stuff like that, you it might not hurt to if you're actually playing the game. So yeah, as you guys see, like I said before, you get a lot of hearts here and it's pretty like passive. Like it's kind of just like you don't even really have to think about it. I feel like I do get quite a bit. So I think I think the idea of what they want is for you to collect the hearts. You know what I'm saying? So look at that. And do the races, obviously, and, you know, do that. Get the race tickets and all that. So, I feel like you get a lot in here. Obviously, the biggest question is loading screen. So, you're going to want to stay in the race world when you do this. Um, let's see how consistently it pops up, though. That's kind of the question. Drag race. I mean, for now, while Hilltop Race is in the game, keep spamming Hilltop Race. I think, honestly, you're, you're going to find that to be the fastest way to do it. Especially if you're actually playing the game. You guys get the gist. I mean, it's not really that complicated. It's just going to take a while. It's probably going to take a couple hours. Magical Girl Blaze. It's a very interesting name. Here she is, though. Here she is. Magical Girl Blaze. She looks pretty cool. I don't know what the reference is. I'm sure it's some type of Sonic Channel artwork or something. There's definitely some references in there. Uh, if you guys can find them, let me know. I'll have to do some digging. But here she is. Oh, she does she have a... Oh, she has the heart boost. Look at that. Boom. And she has kind of like a red boost aura. I don't know what her normal boost is. But here is... Here she is in, in action. Ah, looks pretty cool, man. This definitely is a cool skin. Blaze is definitely one of the dopest skins in the game, for sure. I can't believe they brought her to the game. Just, like, casually. They casually brought Bro uh, Blaze the cat. But, yeah, here's Magical Girl Blaze to celebrate Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? New skin. Oh, what is this on her side right here? Is this, like, the Soul Emeralds? Is this supposed to be the Soul Emeralds right here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think that's supposed to, like, represent the Soul Emeralds, maybe. I don't know. Listen, I'm going to get Erm um, actually in the comments. The worst. The worst type of comments. Valentine's Sonic. This guy's kind of drippy, man. I'm not going to lie. I mean, he's kind of drippy, bro. I like the white tux. I'm kind of a fan of, a white, of the white tux look. I think it's kind of fire. I think my boy's definitely got drip. Let's see what his... Let's see what he does when he boosts. Oh, he's got a pink boost aura. Sonic with a pink boosting aura. Hmm, interesting. And, and you'll notice the little heart. Boom. You'll notice a little heart right there when he boosts. That's pretty cool. Those are, the, those are the new skins in the update. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about it. Also... If you guys want to see the Amy skin, this is on sale right now, but this is actually from last year. This was a code. 
Here's Valentine's Amy. Um, she has a cool little boost. I don't know if they changed anything. That heart looks a little bit different. They might. They may have changed her boost aura, because. Yeah, they, I think they changed her boosting aura. So this one's on sale. You're not going to be able to unlock this one without money, but pretty cool. All right, here we go. By the way, this is the new tornado, the new Valentine's Day tornado. I really like the, you know, I like the color scheme on it. It's pretty cool. It definitely like sticks out. You know what I'm saying? It definitely, it definitely shines. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm about to, oh my God. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh no. But yeah, here's the new tornado as well. This is also new. Does it have any cool, I would, that would have been cool if they had like pink bullets or something like that. But yeah, this is also the new tornado. So yeah, it's everything new, man. W update. I think it's pretty good. Solid. For sure. Yep, that's the Valentine's update with the Steampunks. Four new skins in one update. Again, we are getting jam-packed with skins. We have a new system here, Team Mastery. Um, I'm curious, man. I'm really curious to see. I'm curious to see what they do next. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about the update. Watch the videos in the end screen, and I'll see you guys soon.